So I have this etcher sketchbook that I really like with hot press paper and I'm working on it for this couple of months. I'm halfway through and now I want to, you know, paint another page, another spread. I started the drawings on this so I could focus only on painting. I don't know if you can see, I hope you can. And this other drawing. So I really like to work on acrylic wash and I have these little ones here. The other day I bought these three wash colors, aqua blue, ice green and opera. So I'm pretty excited to see what comes of it and you know, like what I can paint with those. I guess they will be the main ones and after that. Um, I will add some other colors. And first I like organizing everything. I painted this portrait and the aim was to work with a very colorful style. This is what I enjoy the most, adding as much color as possible, a lot of saturation and trying to make that work. And even though it seems like very uh, chaotic, uh, there, is, there are ways to make it work, uh, but I'm still finding out what's best. So I knew that I wanted to add that new opera pink that I bought and some of the blue. And uh, from there I started working and seeing how I could make it all look cohesive even though I like to add so much color, which is always the challenge, you know, like you have all this chaotic mess and somehow you need to make it look cohesive. But I had lots of fun. I really love this technique. The nice thing about acrylic wash is that it dries in the same value as you put it down, so that's always helpful. You don't need to correct a lot as in other wash types. And yeah, here I started adding some greens here and there and I thought, oh, that could be actually a nice color to um, have a little bit more power in the painting. These details are just so nice to add. When you add them, it becomes a lot more realistic, right? And yeah, once I was here, I thought uh, that this blue, I mean, blue is my favorite color, so it's present in all my pieces. But I thought that this blue seemed so disconnected from the light side of the face. So I started thinking how to solve that and if to change that to another color or not. But first, painting a background always helps to add more contrast and to see how the colors look when they are not surrounded by white, which always changes quite a lot. And of course, once I did that, I realized that my highlights could be brighter. I don't know why, but don't you all love making highlights? Shadows, not a fan, but highlights? <laughs> it's just the most fun, I don't know why. Then I decided to make the whole neck and chest and hair uh, just very explosive and, you know, with these brush strokes that don't really define anything. And at the end, I decided that that side of the face should go green. I know, green for a skin color is always very risky, can make people look sick, but I... I don't know, I had a feeling for it. And then uh, I think maybe it's because green is closer in the color wheel to yellow 
the, the other side is very yellow and that I thought that it could create a more cohesive piece so I added a lot of green on that side hoping it would work Not just one type of green, by the way, I like to add warm greens, colder greens, all together, lighter, darker, so it still looks uh, part of the portrait, no? If all of a sudden I add just one color, there as a blob, uh, all the fun feeling of the portrait could sort of get stiff, right? So yeah, I tried. Um, I think it worked. Looking back at the video, I also liked it when it had a little bit more blue on that side too. But yeah, I'm learning too, so no regrets really. And uh, here I decided to add a bit more contrast on, you know, she was wearing some clothing on the photo reference, so just a little note to make it look like it's not just an abstract blob of colors, which it is, but uh, it also shows form a bit. More green. highlights <laughs> that I I think is the main um, focus of the painting it's all surrounded by shadows and then there is this bright eye with a lot of contrast with the iris and when you look at this that's the first thing I want you to notice maybe you first notice the green because it's so dark but uh, the idea was that that eye was important And yeah, I enjoy a lot. Most of my work is made digitally, but lately I've been giving myself time and permission to experiment with also uh, traditional techniques, uh, mostly wash actually. And I've been finding a lot of um, inspiration from it. And this is the final result. I hope you like it, I really enjoyed it and I think it could be more realistic but it made the point, you know, it was a study, how to make those colors work together, uh, how to make uh, such bright colors also define form and yeah, it was, I had such a blast, it was uh, a very nice free painting, yeah. I couldn't finish this video without updating you guys so I'm in a new house that I bought like uh, I think in August and I moved into also in August and uh, yeah it was a really big change so that's why I haven't be been making lots of videos but then the other big change is that I'm six months pregnant so <laughs> I spent the last uh, the first three months of those I spent just uh, nauseated and well you don't want to know any details but it wasn't good and uh, after that I started working again and I decided that because I'm gonna have a baby I would combine Patreon with my work and try to see if Patreon can be something nice to do while I'm a mom and so here you are seeing me preparing one of the monthly classes and uh, we worked on compressed values.
before I make every class, uh, I try not to add the things I know, but also learn something new. So I also improve, you know. So here you see me learning and watching a nice video from Nicolas Uribe, which is a very amazing artist. He, he knows a lot, so it's always nice to see what he thinks on subjects I'm studying. And uh, yeah, here I wanted to share with you, because I enjoyed it so much and I like the result, a uh, high value painting, which means it's all quite light in value. And this is part of the class, this monthly class for Patreon. So you can always go there and see the theory behind and all these things I was putting together on the notebook, as you saw. Uh, are there in a video, a one hour long video. I went so long this time. Um, yeah, just enjoy it so much. And it feels so good because Patreon allows me to have some time in the week to study and to, you know, like do these things that normally you can't, like the week goes away and because it's not a big responsibility you do something else. So every month I do a class there and then, you know, well, you can always go there and see what we do, but we do things every week. And yeah, it was so fun. I never paint lemons. I almost always paint portraits, but this is something I'm trying to change. Portraits are amazing. I still like them, but it's nice to add something extra and, you know, to my work and to find inspiration in other places. So be a bit more open. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this color palette. It was a lot of greens, pinks, purples and yellows. Never used something like that, but because I was trying to keep everything so high in value, I had to be creative and find a color palette that could work with this. I loved it. I think I will make more paintings based on this bit of theory. I mean, in my Patreon we're all struggling to make this work, I have to say. <laughs> the people who is there are doing their best, and me too, you know, and it's, it's a, a challenging subject, so it's nice to learn all together. And yeah, then I added some final details with color pencils. That's always like a very yummy kind of stage with uh, Prismacolor and here you can see the final result. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you again very soon. Bye!